Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. And I've gotten a question recently about expensive razors and there are folks interested in, let's just call for the sake of this video, an expensive razor, anything over $100 or close to that mark US. That's fairly expensive. I've been getting a lot of questions about um, folks wanting to choose between one expensive um, razor and another. The first thing I have to say is what I'm choosing here absolutely may not work for you in terms of performance. So what I'm trying to evaluate here is not only whether it'll work or how I feel about it, but also the risk in you buying an expensive razor if you get it and don't like it. So I'm considering that, so keep this in mind. Um, first, let me say this. Let me answer this question matter-of-factly. Do you need an expensive razor? No, you do not. You absolutely do not. Uh, will you get a little something more out of an expensive razor? Maybe. It's not guaranteed. That said, I own a few and I do like them. I enjoy their craftsmanship. I enjoy, um, I just enjoy using them. And that, that's just the case. Sometimes you get a little better experience, not necessarily um, good shave. So when I'm using an expensive razor, do I get a shave that's heads and tails above a $20 razor? Really not necessarily. Am I enjoying it a little more in that entire experience? Maybe. So let's just, you know, keep that in mind. So, thought about this expensive razor things, and I'm going to show you three razors um, that I think would be maybe a good choice for you if you're thinking about buying an expensive razor. And my number one choice and personal favorite is Wolfman, the Wolfman razors, which are absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship doesn't get any better than this. These things are just marvelous. They're a little bit hard to come by. Um, it is expensive. Now, coming along with this expense is one good thing, however. Not only is it beautifully crafted and a great performer, if you don't like this, you're almost guaranteed to be able to resell this and not lose any money or lose very little money. So there's not that much risk if you can get your hands on one of these because the resale market is 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 up all right so these are so hard to get if you get one you don't like it you can pass it on to somebody else and not lose any money so there's almost zero risk in trying a wolfman razor and james the fellow from wolfman is a wonderful guy he does customizations on these for you if you want uh, and the craftsmanship is second to none so this would probably be my number one choice the next choice when it comes to expensive razors, Wolf, or excuse me, I already said Wolfman, um, above the tie. Now I could have pulled out um, a couple of above the tie razors that I have. I just happened to pull the uh, Bamboo SE1, which is a single edge razor that uses the Artist Club style blade because I really like this razor. This is my favorite of the above the tie. That said, um, you can get the above the tie slant or the above the tie M1 or R1, whatever you want. The reason that this is a good purchase for many people, although it's expensive at 185 bucks, is if you don't like this razor, you can send it back to James and try. Or James, shoot, I'm I'm confusing now. Wolfman and above the tie. You can send it back to Stan, and he'll send you another razor. And if you buy the the ones with the particular plates, if you don't like that plate. You can send it back and he'll send you another. So that guarantee that Above the Tie offers, I don't know anybody that does it uh, in, in uh, shaving in terms of razors. He will absolutely replace it and you can do it several times if you have to until you find something you like. So for that reason, I think Above the Tie, whether you choose an, a single edge like this, um, which is great, it is a little heavy because it's so big, but I like it. And I like it a lot. And I find that it's a pretty safe choice for expensive razors simply because you can send it back and try another razor if you want. That's just what Stan does. He backs his product 100%. And the next choice, and this one in many cases might not be as, as expensive as others, um, Delta Echo razors. And I just have a slim here, but you could get a Fat Boy or some of the other razors. Now, these generally don't run as expensive because they're, they've just taken vintage uh, Gillette razors or whatever razor and um, put a really nice coat and finish on it. And 
it's just a great, great option for those of you if you're looking for an adjustable um, that's in great shape. Because, you know, they refurbish these when they put the coating on them. So you get it, you know you're going to get a great working razor. And with that um, new coat, it's going to last a long time. They've already lasted, you know, they, these razors have stood the test of time. Let's put it that way. And with this razor being refurbished, it's going to last a long, long time to come. So it's a great choice also. But uh, because of their work, they do the magnificent coating and work that they do on these razors. It's not cheap. It's going to usually run you around, you know, $80 and up for uh, like one of these. Um, I'm not sure what the exact price is right now. But I think it's a good choice also. Um, simply because you know this razor is going to be around for a long time. Now that said, these guys are going to be around for a very long time as well. Now the next question that I've got a lot is about the Wonder Bar and how does it compare. The Wonder Bar I like a lot, but the only reason I'm, I'm showing you these is because they're compelling reasons. You know, you can send these back whatever, um, and also the resale value and the rest. The Wonder Bar will also have that, but I don't know if someone who's starting out is going to want a slant razor right off. All right. I like the Razor Rock Wonder Bar a lot. I think it's a great slant. But the reason I picked these three is I don't know if a slant's going to be for everyone. However, a Gillette Slim or one of these very well may be, or one of the many razors that Stan produces. So um, the only reason the Wonder Bar is not in this group is because I don't know if it's going to appeal to you. I don't know how it's going to work for you. Some people don't like slants. Some people do. So my picks for expensive razors are Wolfman, above the tie of any flavor you want from Stan, and one of these Delta Echo um, refurbished and coated um, vintage razors. They've already lasted the test of time. Um, they're going to last a long time in the future, and I tell you, I don't think you can go wrong with these because of what you can do with them if you don't like them. Uh, and also, you can probably resell these if you don't like it too. But you can always get one of these um, off eBay. And if you like the Slim model, for example, then get your Delta Echo if you really like the type of work they do on the recoating. Now, some people say it's 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 shaving blasphemy to recoat a vintage razor. I don't think so. I like it. So these are just some of my picks. Um, I can never tell you specifically whether this above the tie se one's going to work great for you it just that's not the way things work but i think based on my own experience that these there's very little risk in buying these sort of razors um and again if you're worried about these type buy one off ebay buy a cheap slim try it and if you really like it and it hits the spot go ahead and get you a delta echo version of it and you'll be happy all right folks thanks as always for watching and i remind you as always keep them up keep them open and remember, we are following the money to get to the truth here. So you guys have a great day.